Mob Press Boomerangs are extremely powerful monkeys that can be easily added to most defenses. These guys provide excellent blimstalling utility to help with dense hordes of ZOMGs and BFBs that come in the 90s. But which crosspath you should be choosing to accentuate its supporting abilities is what we are going to cover today. To start, the 004 Mob Press has two attacks. Its first is a normal boomerang that gets thrown every 1.42 seconds, does two damage, has 18 pierce, and can re-hit targets. Its second and much more important attack is a heavy Kylie that knocks back mob class balloons, has a 10 second cooldown, does one damage to balloons, five to blimps, has 200 pierce, and can also re-hit targets. When upgraded to a 204, its normal boomerang gets nine additional pierce and attacks 17.6% faster, and the heavy Kylie gets 220 extra pierce and knocks back blimps 50% farther. This is compared to the 024 crosspath where both of its attack cooldowns get reduced by 44%, mean they get thrown almost twice as often. Now upon first glance, it appears that the 024 is a clear winner, but I'm here to say that this is not always the case. We will start with the fact that in most defenses you will want two or even three of these guys to help out with rounds 96 and 98, and in this case the two cross paths become closer together in pushback consistency, but the 204's pushback blimps much farther. But what makes the real difference is the map. If you can get the boomerangs in a spot where they will throw in a straight line with the track, you should go with 204's. This is because rounds 96 and 98 are so dense with balloons that you can and should be using 100% of their pierce. So the over double pierce plus the extra 50% knockback outweighs the increased attack speed. Where this changes to 024's being better is when you do not have the luxury of straight lines or if there are multiple tracks in the boomerang's range. Both of these conditions make it hard to use even half of the boomerang's pierce, so in these cases, the extra attack speed is much better. So there you have it, both crosspads are useful, which is how Ninja Kiwi intends all towers to be, but I thought I'd leave you with two tips before we'd go. The first is that the Mob Press combos amazingly with Mob Glue, because the knockback is a set distance and not related to blimp speed at all, meaning it will take the blimps much longer to recoup that lost distance. The second is an odd mechanic. The XX4 Boomerang gets its Kylie Boomerang right when the upgrade is bought, so it is possible to buy and resell a Mob Press to knockback blimps much more often. This is really only useful in certain challenges, but it could be used in some clutch or lose scenarios.